A reservoir is a valley in the middle of the countryside that's been dammed on one side and flooded on the other side. No matter what is actually in that valley, it gets flooded over the top. We've had a drought for a month. It's just started to rain, so I want to get out into those reservoirs that have drained because we're still drinking all the water, but they're just not filling up with rainwater and r running water off the land. The water level's dropped. Things that are in that valley are starting to show through the water. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Currently on the dam wall, walking across, you can see the reservoir on one side and the valley on the other side. There is an overflow. You can see the slopes going down. That's if the reservoir gets too full, it overflows down into them into a river. And all this land here is normally where you'd see water. You can see some water from off the hills is starting to run in just down here. Loads of old ruined walls and stuff like that. As you can tell at the minute, there's nothing apparent, but what you don't see is that wall there and the other side of that bridge there is where I'm most interested in and whatever that is. old foundations to a property just there and that must run out to whatever that was there quite cool to see the reservoir with some little ducklings on one side and then over the other side the stream oh looking under that bridge over there is definitely something really cool i wanted to see over there you just think this is the kind of landscape it used to look like before they built this big dam and flooded it now again normally the water level would come right the way up here and it'd be massively deep to show you how much water's actually gone that's a little buggy down there like what is this global warming is this just something that's happened i don't know let me know in the comments so now there's loads of stuff just like this like blocks there there's a couple just there as well i think they would just like to hold a pipeline in because there's a couple more down there as well there's something over there that doesn't look naturally new go over there and check that out too we all love a good trick marker Boof. there's one i didn't realize that was there it's not on the map come off the path a little bit near the dam just to show you the extent of how low it's actually got look at it this is this is normally all underwater you wait till i show you what's further down oh it's insane oh ah. can you see the ridge line there that's normally the water line they're divers so i don't know what they've found but it's about i don't know 45 foot down this is mad the ground's not even soft and saturated i'm even in trainers for god's sake i haven't even put my boots on it's been like this for a month it's a good thing we're starting to get some rain you can see the clouds are starting to come in as well i just wanted to get here before it started hammering it down before the reservoir started to actually fill up again and that's solely because it's been 70 years since this reservoir has been this low so the stuff we're going to see has never been exposed or out of water for the last 70 years I remember when we were stood up there and I saw those manufactured rocks. They're over there. They are manufactured. They are modern. These guys were the ones that I didn't know whether they were manufactured or not. So it looks like they're a bit of a gatepost, maybe. I don't know. What do you think they are? I'd say they've been here since before the actual reservoir was built, just based on the condition of them. Look at that little bolt under there. It's like a steel bolt thing. There's another one there. So maybe it was just like a gatepost. I don't know. It leads straight up there to that little cutout. So it could well be just an old gate post. That would make complete sense with the ruins of the wall all the way along here. You can see how you can see every little detail of it. Just look at that. Looks like the remnants of an old building here with all this rock work that leads all the way down to there. We are literally virtually at the waterline now. We are 40 foot under the water level where it would naturally be. Got some more rock work just there. I can't wait to show you what's down there. I can't wait to see it myself really. Seems like we've got some water coming in over there underneath that like cavern thing. Because you've got all this over here as well. It's like caves and cliffs edges. I wonder if there is cars in here though. You've got to think once this was once a village or a town or just some nice beautiful landscape and they just built that huge dam down the bottom there and filled it in with water and this is what supplies half of the northwest and half of birmingham or one of the chain of reservoirs up here that actually do that proper mad to think that but here we go more building structural sorts of stuff just here wow 
I wonder where it's all gone. But this one is just boulders in a line straight up to the top. So maybe it was a row of houses, maybe it was a brick wall. It could have been absolutely anything. I think maybe there was a car in here. What? You can see the new modern bridge that's been built over it. But what's that behind it? We've got an old Roman road bridge. That bridge hasn't been out of the water for 72 years. That was the last time the water level in here got that low that that bridge was able to actually be seen and it was only the top of the bridge that could be seen we can see the full arch and everything on it right now i can't wait to go over it do you reckon it'll be safe to go over I'm starting to get really steep so i'm going to sort of start heading upwards now and see if there's a pathway to cross over that little gully that i can see but again more rock worked structures look at that that's all been underwater for years here's the start of the old road look at that for an old road goes round, down and up over that bridge. You can see the normal water level on the bridge there and you compare it round to what's actually there. That's insane. Walking on the old road now, about to go over the old bridge. It's been underwater for over 70 years. You can see the water line on the new bridge compared to the old bridge. Just fascinating to see, but what's that? It's an old engine, a little four cylinder engine. Look at that. There's other bits and bobs kicking around for it as well. Little bits there, the little prop shaft thing just there. This is brutal. I mean, what's this? I have no idea what that is. Same with that. There's loads of bits of bobs down here. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's a car. Yeah, that's a car. There's another piece over there as well. Yeah. No today, not today. Dude, that gave me the heebie-jeebies. I watched too much Adventures with Purpose. But look at the bridge. How cool is that? We are due a lot of bad weather. So uh, that's probably the only time we're ever going to get a chance ever in our life to actually see that bridge and all the other bits that were underneath there. It's quite uh, fascinating. We've got that cliff that we saw on the other side of the reservoir to come down. That's the way I'm walking now. So I walk one side. I'm going to walk down this side now and have a look. A wall thing just there and then further down there there's walls and cliffs so they could be like houses i mean all this sediment could have been added after time something tells me this is an old road now i wouldn't say it's an old road from the era where this was a village i'd say this was an old road from when they were either doing some digging or filling up the water or doing something it's it's not an actual road it's just like really compact mud slope you know like when you see on building sites and stuff like that it looks like over there they've either excavated that cliff edge or it's just eroded over time while it's been underwater and that's the actual land because you can see it there as well where it's not fully eroded yet that's mother nature and one reason why i love her it's times like this i wish i had the drone can you imagine the drone hovering over that and showing the grand extent of it all but if you didn't see the last video the end of the last video we crashed it so that's where we're going to head off to tonight um lincoln we've got to go pick up our new drone we've got a better one and we're just going to get our old one and just part it out sort of thing if anyone needs brushless motors for a drone, I've got you. Who would have thought I would have been going underneath a Christmas tree whilst I should be underwater? Work that one out. I think I should have put my boots on. They are in the van. I could have just put the boots on, but this side looks a bit more treacherous. <laughs> I just remembered it's like a nature reservoir. That's why you can walk around it. So why am I walking all the way down there when it's a bit sketchy? When I can just climb up and go on the actual path. Very good, very nice. Very good, very nice back at the dam we then got to the van drove an extra couple of hours over to lincoln to pick up the new drone Woo! we got a new toy to play with yeah i wonder how long this is gonna last we then found a nice place to park up for the night somewhere quiet and secluded and flat see you in the morning guys subscribe